Greetings Taurus, it's Amanda here with your September 2016 rune scope. Once again this month I will be using in conjunction with the runes my trusty golden tarot by Cat Black. And uh, after the reading over on Vimeo, my on-demand page, I will be pulling one card for you from the Fairies Oracle deck by Brian Froud. It's one of my favorite uh, decks actually. Uh, so you can meet me over there. The link is below the video here uh, to go over and purchase for a small fee your spiritual guidance reading for the month of September. But let's jump in and see what my Taurians are going to be doing in September. Uh, do keep in mind this is a general reading. That means not all of these messages will be for you. They will be for other Taurians who are watching and need the guidance perhaps a bit more than you. Uh, you can also watch the video for your rising sign. That can generally offer more messages or clarify some things that may come up in this reading. Uh, sometimes it can be more accurate, your rising sign reading. Um, sometimes they may be very similar, I found. And that's a month when it's really kind of pointing out something to uh, pay attention to. If you want something uh, far more specific, you can schedule an appointment with me. I do private sessions on Skype. They are $65 for 30 minutes. Just drop me a line at runescopes 4 you at gmail.com. Uh, the email's in, uh, in the video here and below the video in the details section. Um, lately, I don't know if it was all the retrograde planets, but I, I have been mentioning that uh, there were a lot of people that would email me like every day asking for my schedule over and over and over again, but then never booking with me. Um, just a heads up that I stop responding to those messages after a certain point because it really kind of takes up my time and energy uh, rather than devoting it to people who are serious about setting up an appointment. And um, this is a small group, just like a handful of people, but they all seem to come out of the woodwork at once over the last few months. And uh, yeah, I'm just a one person operation. So I do have to uh, focus my energy and efforts, uh, you know, in an efficient way. So uh, yeah, and some of these were stretching back years. So I just wanted to put that out there. You know, if I've emailed you my schedule, you know, five times in one week and we can't make it work, it's just not probably meant to be. So, uh, but without further ado, Taurus, let me, I'm just kind of taking the lay of the land here. So the challenge or focus for the month of September for my Taurus people here. We've got uh, Queen of Cups for the tarot card that's coming up here. So again, general reading. So this can be a male or a female, but she is associated with, this, with the water signs, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. Um, now this can be someone that maybe you have had an argument with or gotten into a disagreement with but we, because we have Esau here. So I mean, this can be a uh, saying this is someone you're separated from, uh, a, a, a person that you are estranged from, does not have to be a romantic interest. It could be a family member or a friend. Um, she's coming up in the upright so that, you know, she's not coming up as a bad person per se or a negative energy per se. It's just you disagree on things. You didn't see, maybe you said something that upset her. <laughs> maybe she said something that upset you. Someone is kind of like, um, you know, this one's kind of like the two of swords uh, in the tarot in that it can mean like, you know, a situation where it's kind of like no one wants to be the first one to make a move. So everybody just stays stuck. Uh, so that could be what's going on or, or the challenge. I do feel like though, Taurus, you are going to kind of break that wall actually. So um, I, I think you're very determined to make this work. Um, now, for some of you, this could be someone that you meet in September and um, maybe you give them your number or that you give them your information and they never contact you. And so, you know, or maybe you exchange information and they never contact you. So you contact them um, because I, I feel like whatever this is, you you uh, or whoever this is, it's a relationship that's important to you. You really want to make it work or you're really interested in this person. So um, you're going to go after this or, uh, you know, either work on fixing this. You're willing to put in a lot of effort uh, with this relationship, Taurus. So this is someone who is quite important to you. Um, and you have the Ace of Swords here as well in the position of uh, the present, but also generally the uh, 
I find it kind of is the advice position as well. So there's going to be a victory here. Um, the present being September. That can be confusing sometimes, but we are. this is a reading for September. So um, as September starts, I feel like, you know, you will feel victorious. Like you will get the communication that you want. You will, you will um, be happy with uh, working something out. And for many of you, we've got Othila here. So this could be a family member um, or someone from the past. Maybe it's someone you haven't talked to in a while. You're getting back in touch or they're getting back in touch with you. And... Um, I just feel like there's a period of waiting. For some of you, it could be that the message goes awry. And we do have Mercury retrograde in September for the first three weeks, I believe. So um, you know what that means. Messages can go astray. They might go to your spam folder. But just keep on top of that. Uh, definitely check. Make sure messages you thought you sent actually got sent. Um, you know, if you sent a message to someone who normally gets back to you rel relatively quickly, just, yeah, go ahead and check those junk or spam folders. Um, you know, make sure that they, you know, didn't get lost. Um, but yeah, there's a sense that this, there's a little bit of, of disappointment or hurt associated with this, but I'm, they're, they're saying don't jump to conclusions. So I do feel like for many of you, it's like you send a message and, uh, you know, yeah, there's it, something goes awry. So, uh, with it. So a way to avoid that because forewarned is forearmed, is to wait and send that message. If you're watching this on the August side, I think it's already gonna to be too close when I get these posted to the Mercury retrograde, but you could wait until the end of September and after Mercury is kind of, you know, not wobbling and not doing its backward dance anymore, and uh, then send the message and then you could probably have a more pleasing result. Now for some of you, this could have something to do with a home or property um, because Othila, while having to do connections to the past or having to do with uh, family, can also have to do with property, sometimes a family property or an inheritance. There is going to be, coming up next to the Ace of Swords, that's a yes answer or an affirmative, like you are going to purchase a new home, you are going to finish remodeling, you are going to, um, you know, come out on the... Uh, good end of an inheritance or you know maybe someone remembered you in their will and you you do inherit a property or a home or uh, you know something connected to that uh, a piece of furniture uh, that you really wanted anything like that but any of you dealing with real estate with property um, even if there's some sort of delay you know for some of you maybe this person is your realtor or or someone who your lawyer or, or someone who is helping you with the estate or planning or figuring something out um so i mean she could be queen of cups not normally legal representation although i'm sure there are some water sign uh lawyers out there those are usually the swords people that will come up to signify legalities and, and lawyers to me but uh you know this could be somebody who is supposed to be helping you but for whatever reason they don't get your message you get your wires crossed whatever i feel like it's a misunderstanding though i feel like it's a mercury retrograde kind of sitch here not so much that someone for most of you is is just being vindictive and not responding so um don't be afraid if, you, if it's been a few days to touch base again, maybe touch base in a different way. Like if you send a message or send a text and you don't get a response back, maybe do a phone call or stop by the office, something, uh, so that you can um, you know, get an answer right then and there. Now the help that's gonna be available to you, we've got the Knight of Coins. So good news about money. Um, good news about money, property, possessions. Uh, and this seems to kind of come unexpectedly or come out of the blue. So um, maybe this is a loan that you didn't think you would get approved for, Taurus. Or maybe this is, um, yeah, someone like uh, aid, some sort of aid to help you out with uh, purchasing a property. Um, for some of you, maybe you weren't expecting to inherit anything from this person. So this could be an unexpected inheritance just on the face of this in the most mundane sense with the uh, with the runes that are here. Now the Knight of Coins could also be a person, again, male or female uh, in these general readings, but this is an earth sign like you. So another Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. Um, it could be you if, you know, this could be you kind of um, giving good news about a move, 
so you could be, maybe you're waiting to kind of hear if you uh, got a house or are going to be closing on a property and then you are going to share it with the rest of the family. Um, but I feel like for many of you, this is someone else. Unexpectedly, like if you have a child who's like a teenager or early 20s, um, they may move out. They may decide to, uh, you, you know, live in a different location. Or you may get news that they got a job offer and it's in another city or it's in another location. And uh, But this is coming up as a help to you. So um, maybe that's going to alleviate some of the financial strain on uh, the household for you so that you can, uh, you can have more money to spend on other things. But uh, yeah, there's an unexpected news about money, but good news that's going to enable you to really build a strong foundation, maybe really going to enable you to maybe really build a new home in uh, some cases or uh, to purchase a new property or a home. Or again, good news that you've inherited something that you've been remembered in someone's will. Um, and for some of you, maybe your child, maybe your, your son or daughter also is going to be getting something. Someone may be getting a car. It could be someone passed away and, uh, you know, and for many of you, I feel like this is not like, a, I have no cards symbolizing death on the table. So this would have been someone who's already passed or maybe even a relative that you weren't necessarily close with, but they, you know, uh, maybe you haven't seen them in a while since you were younger, but they've left something to you. But yeah, someone, your, your child or a, a young teenager that you're close to, um, or, or uh, you know, in their early 20s anyway, may inherit a car from someone who has passed on. So, which would alleviate some burden for you because then you maybe wouldn't have to purchase it or they wouldn't be borrowing your car, etc. cetera. Uh, now what must be accepted? We've got Page of Swords. So again, a lot of people here in September Taurus, but this is air sign energy, uh, usually Aquarius, Gemini or Libra, could be male or female. Pages are usually children, um, if they are, if they do show up as people in September. So, um, the, you could be getting news about a child who's been causing some problems um, with communication. So maybe this is somebody who's been acting, like doing things on the internet either looking at things that they shouldn't be looking at um, or, or going on a message boards, chat boards and pretending to be someone else is coming up here, uh, Taurus. And uh, so yeah, this is a this is a kid that's just causing some trouble. Um, you know, getting into, uh, I don't feel like it's serious for the most part. For many of you, it's just, uh, you know, that someone is, has been um, misbehaving. Now, for some of you, this doesn't have to be your child. This could just, you could just be hearing about this from other people. Um, but I do feel like that you're gonna get news uh, from someone that, you know, this, this child has been misbehaving. Um, for some of you, this page could be here just symbolizing news that you're going to be hearing about an argument in the family or maybe with co that co-workers are having, disagreements. Um, I don't know that this necessarily involves you, Taurus. I don't feel like it does. I feel like for most of you, this is just kind of going on around you and you're hearing about it. Um, but yeah, it's like people interfering in other people's business, just gossipy energy, uh, you know. Um, and the advice here is, is to kind of stay out of it the best you can. But, um, you know, if it's gossip about you, which for the, again, for the most part, I don't feel that it is, Taurus. If it's gossip about you, I mean, certainly you may want to set the record straight and you may be becoming the news bearer here, the Page of Swords, like, hey, um, that's all lies and, and you know, it's com it's completely untrue. So, I mean, for some of you, you may be kind of becoming the page of swords, but I kind of feel like this is infighting or coworkers gossiping about um, and talking about things they have no business talking about, interfering in other people's business. You may feel like people are trying to interfere in your business um, to use it against you in some way. Um, either way, you'll be setting the record straight, either like that you don't want to be involved in this or that's or, you know, that this is not true. Um, 
But at the, at the end of the month, you've got the Sun card in reverse. Still an, an excellent card to get, uh, coupled with uh, Legas in the intuition position. Uh, in the end position here, but this is the rune of intuition, which is interesting because Queen of Cups is also a very intuitive, creative, sensitive sort of person. So I feel like this may be go kind of going back to this, talking about this, but the Sun card talks about um, rewards, benefits. Um, you may not quite be there by the end of September, but I feel like in reverse, it's just showing that this is a little bit of a delay of success of getting what you want. So for some of you, maybe it is this property. Maybe you, you know, you're working out all the details of the loan or you find out you're gonna, going to get it, but you don't quite have things all nailed down by the end of September. Um, it may be more October and it could be Mercury retrograde again, delaying things, slowing things down. I do feel an, an essence of kind of waiting in September, it's like you know something's gonna happen or you're waiting to hear back if and when something's gonna happen. And I do think that by the end of the month, you have the information. It's just you have to wait to kind of set it in motion or you have to wait for it to uh, to come to you. For some of you, this could be a promotion or recognition or receiving some sort of um, you know, acknowledgement for your contribution to a project, your contribution to a business or uh, at work. Um, some of you could be like this news coming in with this Knight of Coins. It can be news of a new position available, a new position open. Um, for many of you, I do feel like it would be uh, at a different company or at least at a different location. So yeah, you could get news of that in September, but maybe um, won't be starting until uh, you know October or uh, later this year. So um, maybe even early next year. So yeah, it could be some of you, you're getting a promotion or you're moving up to a new level or you're gonna be starting a new job, but you may be finishing out this year uh, for some of you. But it seems like whatever this is, those of you that are moving into a new position, you're it's gonna be something more stable and far more long-term. Um, and maybe the duties will be more balanced. Uh, for some of you, this is someone new coming into where you're working that they've hired to kind of help balance things out. So maybe uh, they're taking over some of the duties that you used to have to do, or maybe someone else left and their duties got dumped on you and now they're finally hiring someone uh, to come in and kind of take care of that. This may be an intern, uh, but definitely someone that you would see as younger, uh, maybe less experienced than you, but still capable. Um, but they're definitely coming in to help you out. For some of you, you could be hiring an assistant, hiring someone to kind of run errands or do things for you. This, this could be a secretary or a receptionist or assistant uh, for you um, that you're really uh, going to be happy that you hired this person because not only are they capable, but uh, you know, they get things done and it's gonna be well worth the salary. Some of you may have been, it may have come like, you're like, oh, maybe someone recommended that you hire an assistant or hire someone to help you out. And at first you were like, oh, I think that's gonna set me back too much money. I don't think I can afford that. But then once you kind of, you know, see how much free time or, or how much they're able to kind of take off your plate, it's really gonna work out for you and benefit you. You're gonna be able to get more done because you're not focusing on maybe these small, um, these small little things. So. That's what I see, Taurus, for September. All in all, a good month, a solid month. Uh, just try not to get frustrated by the Mercury retrograde. Um, just be patient. I do think by the end of the month, though, things will be moving forward. And yes, kind of stay, do your best to stay out of anybody, uh, any gossip kind of stuff going on, whether at work or within the family. But uh, if you want to meet me over on Vimeo right now, I'm going to, again, pull uh, one card from the Fairies Oracle by Brian Froud for you, and we'll get some more insight and information on September for you. So meet me over there, and then I'll see you back here next month. Thanks, Taurus.